Today, Reasoned Answers turns one. Over the past year, I've received many insightful comments and questions, but one question was particularly hard to answer. What is the dumbest comment you've ever received? Today, I'll take on this challenge. On April 1st, 2019, I released my first video and Reasoned Answers was born. In that video, I look at the problem of evil and explain why people suffer according to the Bible. The production quality is quite poor, as I had no idea what I was doing. But I think the content is worth your time if you can get past that. Here's a brief clip to whet your appetite. The theme of these verses is clear. When you suffer, try to realize that the suffering will cause you to grow as a person, and thus you receive benefit from your suffering. But is the character growth we receive really worth the cost of suffering? When we consider that the benefit is eternal, while the suffering is by nature limited in time, the answer is clearly yes. Hopefully I've come a long way since then, as I've learned to use my camera for video, learned how to do video editing, and got over my discomfort in talking to a camera. If you'd like to check out the full video, see the link in the pinned comment. Whether you joined my journey way back then, or just in the last week, I want to sincerely thank you for your support. Here's to another year of great videos. Now, on to the main event. As you can imagine, over the past year I've received countless insults, non-sequitters, and generally dumb comments, mostly from Muslims. One comment in particular stands out, however. Let me set the stage. In my video at celebrating 1,000 subscribers, I offered $1,000 to anyone who could prove one specific Quran verse to be true. A guy going by the name Mughal showed up and declared, I can prove grace by Allah. Quran is true and Islam is true religion, and Muhammad Puba is last and true prophet of Allah. But I don't want your money. I give you challenge. Please accept my challenge. To which I quickly replied, I'm only asking you to prove one specific Quran verse to be true in this video, but if you want to take on the challenge of proving Islam in general, have at it. I only ask that you consider my responses and not merely write them off in exchange for me spending my time on this. Why don't you start by giving me your best single piece of evidence that Islam is true and we can go from there. He apparently didn't like that response and proceeded to up his rhetoric. Hello, would you like accept challenge with me? We collect the woods and we light the fire. Then we jump into the fire. God will save him who is right. After many attempts to get him to issue his challenge, he continued to obfuscate, first trying to get my home address and then asking my age. Naturally, I was getting bored with this nonsense, but my efforts were about to pay off. I replied, what does my age have to do with anything? Just give me your evidence or argument for Islam already. Finally, the challenge came. I will pray to God you become kid again. Then you will convert to Islam? I was dumbfounded. Had this clown really spent days posturing only to make the most idiotic threat I had ever heard? Well, let's give responding a try. LOL, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Go ahead and ask your Allah to do whatever you want to me. Nothing will happen as he's impotent. When Allah fails to make me a child, will you be leaving Islam? He didn't back down. I asked you first, you will convert to Islam if you become again child? Reply me first, then I will reply to you. I have 100% believe on Allah. Okay, nothing left to do but play along. If I actually become a child, I probably won't have the ability to make that decision. But obviously, if I'm intellectually capable of making a decision, and you prove Islam to be true, I will accept the truth. Apparently, this convinced him to go ahead with it. Wait some days! I will give you proof! Someone has accepted my challenge! Alright, it is on! Let's set the stakes. Will you leave Islam when your attempt to turn me into a child fails? Three days later. How many more days must I wait for proof of your challenge? It seems your god is impotent. Why are you following an impotent god? Three weeks later. 
Weeks later and I'm still an adult. Have you left Islam and its sad excuse for a god yet? Mughal never returned. Or did he? A new poster showed up. Sorry, I was forgot today. I did prayer to Allah. Don't worry, Allah will accept my prayers. Ooh, I'm so scared. Hee <laughs> hee, good luck with that. I'm sure your stone god will listen to you as well as it listened to Mughal. Undeterred, he wrote back. You just wait some days. You will see my prayer has accepted. Okay, game on. Please be specific so we can both know if your prayer was fulfilled or not. When it is not, will you be leaving Islam? Three weeks later. It's been weeks since you claimed Allah would curse me. How long do I have to wait? Many months later. It's been months since you claimed Allah would turn me into a child. Nothing has happened. When will you be leaving Islam? So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Your stone idol hasn't answered your prayers. Have you left Islam yet? I hope you've enjoyed this story as much as I did. Muslims, don't be a Mughal. I have abundant evidence that my religion is true. Do you have any that yours is true? Either find real evidence that Islam is true or leave your false religion. Empty threats will get you nowhere and certainly aren't what you should be gambling your eternal soul on. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all and thanks for watching.